While Megan recovers from her first experience with popcorn pea salad, we're moving back to gardening. Getting more bang for your buck in the garden, one of the members from the Roanoke Council Garden Clubs is showing us how you can properly split your plants to make your money grow. I'm joined with Brenda McManaway, who is the Flower Show Chairman of the Roanoke Council of Garden Clubs. Brenda, thanks so much for joining us today. You're very welcome. Yes. So what are you going to show us? This is going to be fun. We're going to get our hands dirty. Right. <laughs> I am going to show you how to divide an iris. Okay. We all have these beautiful iris, bearded iris in our yards. And, okay. Uh, People let them grow forever, and yeah, that's not big. always that's not always a good thing to do. Okay. So uh, this is part of my miniature iris. Oh wow! And I have dug it up and I brought it in, and you would separate the pieces just like this. Okay. So you get all of these nice pieces out of here. Okay. And then when you want to plant them, uh huh. You take this piece right here, and what I like to do is to cut off all of this up here so that it won't be uh, waving in the wind. And oh, okay, so you, you kind of trim it back. I trim it back because okay. you when you plant this plant, you only plant it up to half of the rhizome. Okay. You do not plant the top. Don't bury it. Oh. Because if you bury it, it will never bloom. Well, that's dirty, so it kind of yes. makes you think, oh, yes. I need to put the whole thing back in yeah, the dirt. No, it's, it's okay. always dirty. You know, it's out <laughs> in the dirt, yeah. So, uh, but you want to plant your, your roots, and you leave this set up, and then so this, of course, if you had all this on here, it would kind of knock it over and blow it. So right. that's why you cut the very top off. Okay. Now this is my regular size bearded iris. Okay, that's a big one. That's the big bearded iris. And these are just beginning to bloom here now. Okay. And they'll be blooming in April and then first part of May. So uh -huh. uh, this is what they look like when you pull these out and separate it just exactly like these. So I was noticing whenever you're separating these mm -hmm. that you almost find like a natural spot that it kind of breaks exactly, apart. Exactly, because okay. these are stuck together down here at the end. Okay. That's what they grow from. Uh -huh. And if you leave these out forever, they're going to keep growing outward and outward and you will end up with a big hole in the middle okay. of all of these iris. Yeah. And, and the people say, oh, they're dying. Yes, they're dying because they don't have their energy anymore. Okay. But they have been putting off uh, all these other babies and yeah. that's where the energy is going to. That's so, really interesting. Yes, yeah, that's what you do. So, so how can, so this seems a little, um, it, it may seem overwhelming for a lot of people. Right, how, right. How do you help them? Like how can they get some help in, in, in the garden? Right, because well that's what garden clubs are really good for. Good, uh, Because okay. monthly we usually meet, not during the pandemic, but yeah. uh, we're starting back up now. And we meet on a monthly basis and we have a program. Most uh -huh. of all our garden clubs have a program. And in that program you learn from uh, somebody who's an iris expert, someone who's yes. a, a mom expert, someone who's a gardening expert, uh -huh. you know, these type of things. That's what garden clubs are really good for. And here at the Rono Council of Garden Clubs, we have 14 different groups wow. of garden clubs uh -huh. and we're all together and we uh, we also have monthly meetings with programs uh -huh. here and then we're also a, a resource for anyone who needs help. So the thing is that sometimes it feels a little overwhelming. You don't have to come in here knowing all the different oh, things. No. You come no. in here, yes. you want to learn and you right. guys are going to help us out. Exactly. Well, that's where you go for information. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. And then now tell me a little bit about where folks can find you. How do you, how can they all reach right. you we, guys? We have a Facebook account. Mm -hmm. We have a website mm -hmm. and we're in the phone book if you go by old school. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's Roanoke Council of Garden Clubs. We're located at 3640 Colonial Avenue, uh -huh. which is just, what, a mile off of 419 on yes. Colonial. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's, it's easy to find. And uh, we have a secretary on, on staff in the mornings uh -huh. from 9 to 12. She will always answer the calls. Or yes. you can leave a message and she will get someone to call you back yes. if she doesn't know the information and she can help you find a garden club. All right. Brenda, yes. thank you so much. You're very welcome. Thank you for coming. Beautiful day. Yes.